January 2019 is in the books, and that means it's time to share our January budget report. Hi friends, welcome to the Budget Bounce. I'm Jen, and we use a budget to tell our money what to do, including bouncing debt out the door. We share our ups and downs from living life on a budget and tackling a $252,000 mountain of stupid debt. If you'd like to follow us on our journey and learn more about living life on a budget, being intentional with your money and making your money work for you, then click on that subscribe button below and be sure to tap the bell so that you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. You can also find me on social media. Just look for the budget bounce. Let's get started with our January budget report. Before I jump into all of our details, take a minute to tell me down below how you did in January. Did you have a budget? And if you did, how did it go for you? Are you paying down debt or are you guys working towards savings goals? Or maybe you're doing both. I'd, I'd love to celebrate the wins with you and if you need it, the Budget Bounce community is here to pick you up when you're down. So feel free to pause and share in the comments below and then come right back. All right, this is our income that we have to work with in January. I blocked out our regular income as usual. And you can see we had a bit of carryover from December here. And then we also pulled in some money from our sinking funds. You can see anything starting with SF here. And we got some cash uh, some cash gifts for Christmas that I've added in here as well. And then also uh, we pulled in some money for Owen's place to cover an unexpected expense there. So that gave us a total of $9,454 to work with in January. Okay, so our giving in January was $4,308. We came in just as planned. That was some straggling stuff left over from the holidays. And then in housing, we came in under by $20. So we had all of our regular expenses as, as we expected. Plus we had our quarterly utility bill, which is from the city. So this is uh, water, garbage, sewer, that kind of stuff. We pay it quarterly and that came out in January. We were under in housing because the internet bill was lower than what I expected. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Uh, I thought it would be $89.99, but apparently it was only $69.84. So we came in under by $20.15 with a total of $1,647.68 for housing in January. Then in transportation, you can see that we came in under by $52 here. That's because we didn't use as much gas. It's all here. It's because we didn't use as much gas as I thought we would, which is fantastic. We also had to pay for registration for my car in January, which is this line down here. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw my post about that mishap. And if you haven't, you should get out there and check it out. So just look for the budget bounce on Instagram and um, go back to my post in January and you'll be able to see it there. Our total transportation was $387.25 for January. And in food, we spent, here we are with food, we spent a bit more in groceries and came in under on dining so it actually ended up balancing out. Our total came in just a tad bit high at $500.47. For the Henry category, we didn't have to pay any school fees uh, in January and we actually don't have any regular school fees remaining. I've paid all of those for the whole year. Um, I did add $97.05 to his food service account at school. He eats breakfast there sometimes too. And then um, I thought we would have to pay for his dual credit courses. Uh, we didn't have mathnasium this month, but I thought we were going to have have to pay for his dual credit course tuition at the local community college, but that bill hasn't come in yet either and it's already February. So uh, we came in under by $152 with a total of $9,705 for the Henry category in January. In pets, we got our long-haired cat, Cotton, groomed. So that was our standard $15 charge. And we get that done every four weeks. It's a program that the groomer has. Uh, we used to only get her groomed a couple of times a year. And it actually, because she was such a mess when I take her in there, it actually costs more for us to do it twice a year than it does for us to take her every four weeks. 
and everybody is happier when we take her every four weeks. So in addition to her grooming, we also had to buy some cat food. So that came in um, at $40.56. That brought our total to $55.56 for pets. And then also I thought I'd just go ahead and share some quick pictures of Cotton and Lucy for the cat lovers out there. I've had Bella on here before, but I don't think you guys have ever seen the cats. So Cotton is really funny. She's a long gray haired cat. And when she gets home from her grooming appointment, which we also call her spa day, uh, I swear she walks around all prissy like she's a princess or something. It's really funny. So anyhow, that's pets for January. Okay, in insurance, we came in right on target at $1,194.99. Uh, just remember that this category is really big. I, I, I'm finding that I do this a little differently than, than others out there, but this does include all of our deductions from our paychecks for medical, dental, vision, flexible spending, life, short-term disability, accident, and critical in illness insurance plans. Plus it's also got, that's what these first ones are here, all the way down through here. And then it's also got our, let's see here, we've got our mortgage disability, our auto insurance, a personal articles policy, and then our identity theft protection policy. So these are all insurance plans. And then right in the middle of everything is Matt's union dues. And that is strictly because I need to acknowledge that deduction somewhere since I'm acknowledging all of his other deductions. Um, and so, I needed to put it somewhere and it doesn't really fit anywhere, so I just threw it in here. So that brings our insurance to $1,194.99 right on target as we planned. We have a guest presenter. She's getting ready to go spend some time with her daddy, so I thought I would say goodbye and then she wouldn't let go. So here we are. So we're looking at entertainment. We had some carryover from this in December that I usually would put toward debt, but I knew we'd had an event that was coming up in January that was gonna cost more than our monthly $50 budget. It actually cost $59. So I carried the 1307 over from December and added it into the January line item for family entertainment. I'm sorry, I can't move the cursor right now. Anyhow, um, Matt and I attended a one day marriage seminar with Dr. Gary Chapman. So he's the author of the five love languages books and all of the things that came after that. The seminar was based on his book and um, the one that is called The Marriage You've Always Wanted. And we really enjoyed it. Overall, we spent $171.21 in family entertainment. And in health, we had our normal $30, uh, which is the Weight Watchers and Gym, just like we always do, plus an additional $61.88 that we paid for some 2018 services. Since we had already used up all of our FSA medical funds, we had to do, um, we had to actually pay out of pocket for that $61.88. And there's gonna be more of that because Matt works for the state of Illinois. And if you haven't heard, uh, but Illinois doesn't have a great reputation for managing its money. So uh, we are definitely able to tell that when it comes to our insurance benefits. I got, I just got an EOB this past week that was actually for a filling I had done back in July of 2018. And it just came in at the very end of January. So um, we're gonna have to pay for that. And you know, I'll have to, that'll have to be paid out of pocket since we've already used all of our 2018 FSA funds. And you know, I don't mind paying it. That's the fact that we have to pay it is not the problem. I, I don't, like that I'm paying for it seven months later. Um, usually we get those bills within 90 days and then you can pay it and it's done. And now I'm paying for something from last summer. So, all right, so in extras, we bought a car seat for Xanthi for our granddaughter, Nikaila. We had no idea exactly how much that was going to cost. So I gave Xanthi a budget of $200 here and she went out and picked out what she wanted and it came in well underneath that budget. So that's why we were um, under so much in that line item. And then the next three line items are all things that I used uh, money from Christmas and sinking funds to pay for. So first I got some new curtains for our living room that I've been wanting for over a year now. I finally just used some of that blow money and bought them. 
And then we had some unexpected expenses in Matt's business. So um, that actually was also covered by a sinking fund up above. And then in uh, Image Cosmetics, I had my hair slash eyebrow appointment. I have that every 10 weeks and I had that in January. So I just didn't move anything into, I normally do $50 a month into the sinking fund. I didn't move anything, I just cash flowed it. So that's what those are. And then the salt for the driveway, so the thing about this is we blew through our salt for this year already that Matt had purchased. They reported yesterday, I heard on the news, that this January of 2019 was the snowiest, snowiest in recorded history for this area. And we live in Western Illinois. And, you know, add in all of the cold weather that we've had because we had that polar vortex come through the Midwest last week. And that means that a lot of salt um, is going to be needed. We have a huge... Uh, parking pad we can put six cars on our parking pad plus a driveway down to the street so all of that has to be dealt with so that's a lot of salt so that's what that expense was overall we came in over in total extras by $28 and so our total here sorry is $320.91 I don't have anything to report in the crap I forgot about that category so, uh, moving into our envelopes, uh, I should put these up top. So the spending ones, these are this is just cash. I just pull cash out for us. And then miscellaneous and toiletries are electronic envelopes. And overall, we came in under here because we only spent one hundred sixty-six dollars and twenty-nine cents of what we planned for the budget bounce. I received a total of $295 in cash and gift cards from October to December last year, which of course included Christmas. I used all of it to buy some new equipment for me to use with the budget bounce. That included uh, some new lights and a couple of extra batteries for my camera, a tension rod and curtains, which you know that's what you see right here, was to cover up that opening to that, that doorway. And then, uh, let's see here, some cool slash daylight bulbs for my lighting kits because the ones I had were making everything look yellow. So I wanted something that was more like daylight since I can't really good, get good light in here. And then I also bought a new office chair, which is what I'm sitting in here. Not sure if you can see it or not, but I love it. So... I also decided to invest in a monthly subscription to Adobe Spark. So that's what this $9.99 is. And so overall, uh, and that's actually going to be to help with developing some new things for social media for the budget bounce. So overall, I came in just under at $272.08 for what I had planned for the budget bounce. In savings, we'll just go ahead and move on to that. I set up automatic transfers for our emergency fund and three accounts that I set up for Henry, Xanthi, and Nikaila. So you can see all three here, they all say auto transfer. And so these are all things that are coming out automatically. And you can see the, the balances that we have here for each one of them. And so the three accounts for the kids will be like an extension of the emergency fund that is earmarked specifically for the kids. Plus, I've started reflecting our retirement in this category. So you have these two new line items. And, well, they're not new. If you've been around, um, this is like the third month I'm talking about them. But I started adding it here so you can see Matt's. Let me move my, move me around a little bit. And you can see here 145.88. I don't, I haven't logged into his account to see what his balance is, but I will update that when I get to it. I also don't have my balance in here. And um, I will be starting to, put some money into our, my 401k at work and um, I can't do it until April. So that's the next entry date. So I'll be getting that started up again so I can take advantage of my company's match. And then I talk about this actually and why we're putting more money in our emergency fund in a video called Tweaking the Baby Steps. So I will go ahead and I will put a card up here for you so that you can watch that if you haven't already seen it. And then our total savings here is 265.88 in the month of January. And that brings our total without our retirement accounts to $1,344.11. And, 
In sinking funds, we put in exactly what we planned, which was $781. There were some categories that I knew we would be spending on in January, so they reflect zero here because I just spent that money instead of passing it through the sinking fund and then back to the checking account. So auto registrations and Henry School, Image Cosmetics, all three of those, I ended up using what we would have put in the sinking fund for this month. So. Otherwise, this was business as usual, and so we are at, um, right now this is reflecting $3,068.76, and um, I think I might be updating this to add a withdrawal column or something, because I'm having a hard time. What happens is in February, I will copy this over, I copy this over, and then I go into February, and I, sorry for this, I paste it, in here and then I update it so you can see that that amount is different $92 that's different because there was interest that was added at the end of January so I updated if there were any expenses and things like that and it's not really clear here so I'm going to be working to improve that in the coming months all right moving on to debt you can see the list of debts that we've already paid off up here anything that is in black font is in Matt's name and anything in pink font is in my name and if there's anything that has both of our names on it, we made it pink. So let me scroll down here. Let's see here. You can see the things that we did pay this month and that's this whole group here. And so we start off with this city card diamond, this stupid card that I found. I couldn't find my debit card in December and I stumbled onto this card and I thought I'll just use it to keep all the holiday activities going that were going on. And then I completely forgot that I needed to go in and pay it and I wasn't seeing it and it was just a mess and I ended up with a balance. So I got that bad boy paid off in January for obvious reasons and wanted to be done. And the reason why you see this negative here is because there was interest that accrued over the total of what I purchased and so I had to pay that. So everything else was standard except for the uh, care credit card and that's because um, that is set up on a bi-weekly payment, so every other week I pay $25 to that. And I thought that was monthly. I thought I set it up for once a month, but I called them this week when a third payment was coming out, and they reminded me that it was bi-weekly. And so this is this happens to be a month when three the payments came out on like the 2nd, the 16th, and the 30th. So anyhow, that's why that was under. I forgot about that bi-weekly thing. And so that $25 combined with this 383 is really what made up our, our snowball payment this month. And so if I scroll down, look at the next group here. These are all debts. These are all in Matt's name, including these student loans. And they are things, not the student loans, but everything else is, these are really old debts that have been charged off. Um, and they are not urgent right now. And so we are going to be paying those, but we will do that later. So um, you can see down here, let me move me out of the way here. You can see down here our, our total, uh, what we planned and what we ended up paying was $3,288.04, which is $25 more than what we planned. We started out with $231,600 in debt and our ending balance is 229097.28. So this shows that we paid off a total of $2,503 this month. Now, obviously that's a lot different than the 3288. That difference is this number right here. That is the amount of interest that we paid in January for all of our stupid debt. So also coming over here, you can see where I have our total expenses, what we planned versus what we budgeted, and then our income for both. And then um, this is just rounding. I don't know why that's off by one penny. And then this $10.15, I, I don't know what I did up above to make that happen, but typically we, we try to make this be a zero. And then if there's anything left here at the end of the month, we roll it over into the next month, which is exactly what I did. Most of that is from that um, tuition, that dual credit tuition that I didn't have to pay for Henry, which was $153 or so. So anyhow, you can see here, our total debt paid to date is $23,229. And so we are, you know, well on our way here, but we are nowhere near where we need to be for our $40,000 debt payoff that I set, that we set, I talked about it in our 2019 goals video, 
um, we set that and that means we have to pay about four thousand dollars a month because we have this interest we want 40k to be the debt that we pay down uh, not the total that we pay toward debt and so we have to pay almost forty eight thousand dollars this year for that to work and we aren't anywhere near that but we do have some things to figure out on that but that said we have $2,503.25 in debt that we never have to look at again. So every month that we pay down debt and don't take on new debt is a success. So we're going to let that fuel us through to the next month. And we've been doing that month over month. And so that has what's gotten us here so far. We've paid off over $23,000. So that's our January 2019 budget report. We've already set up February and I actually did my very first uh, budget prep video when I set it up. So you can actually check that out right up here. I'll put a card up here for you if you'd like to see what we have planned for January, excuse me, for February, if you haven't watched it already. Let me know below if you have already set up your budget for February. Would love to hear from you. And I want to thank you guys so much for spending time with me as I document our journey to financial independence, which obviously starts with getting this debt out of our life. And so I'm really glad that you're here. And I love that our budget bouncing community, our squad just keeps growing. So that is a wrap on the January 2019 budget report. And that's all I've got for you today. Until next time.